In this video, I'll show you how to create an AutoCAD Civil 3D pressure network from a water industry model that was created in AutoCAD Map 3D. A water industry model is a specialized GIS schema that has feature classes, rules, and relationships for the water industry. Civil 3D can read the schema and quickly create a pressure network using specified parts and styles. This drawing contains a water industry model of an intricate pressure network. For this exercise, I want to create AutoCAD Civil 3D pressure networks in this area of the network. You can show or hide GIS model components using the Display Manager tab on the Map 3D task pane. AutoCAD Civil 3D is built on top of AutoCAD Map 3D, so the task pane and many other map commands are available from within Civil 3D. The Display Manager tab helps you to review the model components and show only the components that are relevant to the current task. For this demonstration, I'm interested in only the valves, pipes, armatures, and points. To create a Civil 3D pressure network from these parts, I'll go to the ribbon and launch the Create Pressure Network from Industry Model command. I'm prompted to select features to convert. I'll enter I so that I can select components using a crossing rectangle that is similar to the AutoCAD crossing selection rectangle. When I click the second point of the rectangle, a pressure network is created from all the parts that were inside or touched by the selection rectangle. The pressure network is displayed in the prospector tree, and the pipes, fittings, and appurtenances that were created are displayed. The network was created using the default Civil 3D parts list and styles. That workflow enables you to quickly create a pressure network from a selection of parts from the water industry model. Now, I'll use a slightly different workflow to create another pressure network. This time, I'll select parts individually, and I'll use a parts list and styles from an AutoCAD Civil 3D template. Dragging a parts list in from another drawing enables you to quickly apply standards to a pressure network without having to create new parts lists and styles in the current drawing. When a parts list is dragged in, any styles that it references are brought in with it. Once the drawing contains the necessary parts list and styles, specify them in the Create Pressure Network from Industry Model command settings. You can also specify default label styles. For this demonstration, I'll specify the object styles and I'll accept the default label styles. Now, I'll create the second pressure network. I'll pick the individual components and then press Enter. The second pressure network is displayed in the drawing and in the prospector. The specified styles have been applied to the parts of the second pressure network. Now, I can use the Display Manager to hide the original water industry model components and then use the Civil 3D pressure network commands to refine the pressure network. Reusing existing GIS data is a simple way to create a pressure network without having to manually redraw each network component. Mm -hmm.